So to what extent do lawyers and law firms actually need to care about search engine optimization or SEO at all? Is it something that you can pretty much just park because your particular clients don't tend to search for people on Google? Or is it something that needs to be a really fundamentally important part of your strategy? That's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Chris Hargraves. This is Digital Marketing Mastery for law firms who want to do more in the digital marketing space. You can find me at knowandlikedandtrusted.com.au. We're going to be talking about SEO for a little bit today. So what is the deal with SEO? In particular, I want to talk about those law firms where your clients don't necessarily Google for lawyers. And and this, I think, demonstrates perhaps the lack of imagination that a lot of lawyers and law firms have when it comes to the potential for SEO. Now, it is true, and I have told people this, that not every type, demographic, category, industry of client finds its lawyers by Googling. Some certainly do. If you're in the personal injury space or the family law space or those personal sort of business to consumer areas in particular, there's a pretty good chance that having a strong sort of pay-per-click campaign and maybe an SEO campaign as well is going to help you out. But what about the corporations? What about those, say, construction industries or the IT industries where perhaps the work comes through more from referral at the moment than it does through search. Now, why do I say this demonstrates the lack of imagination? Because this is a pretty common issue or it's a pushback on the SEO component, which is, well, my clients don't find lawyers from SEO. They find lawyers through recommendations. That's a half truth. What you're forgetting about, you're you're assuming that the SEO campaign begins and ends with this idea of aiming for, you know, construction lawyer or family lawyer or personal injuries lawyer or whatever. That's not necessarily the be all and end all of SEO in your industry because you can become found by people through search engine optimization by producing excellent content and having a search engine campaign that is not necessarily directly on those what I'll call bottom of funnel keywords. Now, why do I call them bottom of funnel? These are the people, if someone's Googling, I need a family lawyer, then not surprisingly, they need a family lawyer. If someone's Googling, I need a construction lawyer, then that's the bottom of funnel. They're right at that decision-making point. But this is where the known, liked and trusted concept that I go on and on about constantly comes into play. Your job is not necessarily to develop a search engine campaign around those bottom of funnel people. Your search engine strategy might be further up, okay? So yes, you may get a lot of work through referrals, but what if all of a sudden one of your clients that has been referred to you starts finding that there is this other law firm that just constantly has informative, useful answers to the questions that they actually have and ask on a regular basis published on their own sites? This other law firm is just coming up over and over and over because they're running a search engine campaign about having useful information for that individual, not necessarily targeted at the point in time where that individual is looking for a lawyer. But lo and behold, all of a sudden, this person's getting more and more helpful information from one of your competitors and not from you. Now, when the time comes, you might perhaps think that this person is completely and utterly committed to you, and I think history demonstrates that that's not necessarily the case. How long do you think it will be if that person has a continual, albeit digital, interaction with that firm before they start interacting with that firm in other ways? Maybe by sending in a question, maybe by leaving a comment, maybe by finding someone or one of the authors on LinkedIn and reaching out to them. How long do you give it before that relationship with you starts to look less and less attractive because you seem less and less connected with that industry? And this is why you need to be very careful about this assessment that people don't find lawyers on Google. It might be true, but that doesn't mean they don't find information on Google. And if they are being exposed to your competitors or switch the situation, they're being exposed to you, even though they currently use another law firm, then that can still be a very useful thing to have because you are developing connection and you are demonstrating your expertise. And hopefully if you're writing good content, then you are showing a little bit of personality. And the more you do that and the more they interact with you, even though you don't even know they're interacting with you, the greater the chance 
as they have those extra points of connection, that they are going to be able to connect with you in a meaningful way and ultimately reach out to you. This is why it's called inbound marketing sometimes. They might reach out to you. You might be able to get them on board. Maybe they'll give you a test case because they're not convinced their current firm can handle it. Maybe they're not as happy with their current firm as a lot of people think. A lot of firms take their clients for granted. You don't necessarily fit into that mold. I'm sure you look after your clients very well. But as far as things go, clients are often prepared to give another firm a go if they believe they will get better service in some way, maybe greater expertise, maybe more relevant conversations, maybe more commercial outlook, whatever it might be. Even clients who do not Google looking for lawyers can still be reached through search engine optimization. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater just because you get work through referrals and that's the predominant way in which people find lawyers. It's not the only way in which people find lawyers. So I wouldn't underestimate the power of search engine optimization. It has to be done right. It's not necessarily that easy, but it is worth exploring as a potential limb or a potential arrow in your quiver of marketing strategies. That's all I had to say today. Hopefully that didn't go for too long and bore everyone to tears with the words, SEO too regularly, but it is worth trying out. So here's my question for you. Have you considered a broader SEO campaign beyond simply targeting area lawyer? Because that's where a lot of people begin and end. And I think you can do better. And I know that you know your clients well enough to be able to start producing stuff that they really enjoy and will potentially have benefits in the SEO stakes as well. So get after it. Let me know any questions you have on that topic or anything else you want to know about SEO. And I'll be happy to address them if I can. And I will see you next time.